I was raped when I was 17 years old. I, that first day, I got pregnant. It was my first time having sex as a virgin. Mr. Nakadisa, Nikapata Ball. 17 years old, and I was a mother at 18 years old. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah. As I said, I Yeah. Man, um, let me say something on, on today's topic. Yeah. Uh, I was raped when I was 17 years old. I that first day I got pregnant. It was my first time having sex as a virgin. Mr. Kalisa, I a ball. 17 years old, and I was a mother at 18 years old. Yeah? Oh, no, no. Hold on. Wait. Wait a second. <laughs> Thank you to those who are saying sorry. At 18 years old, I became a mother. Yeah? And now I have a beautiful 8 year old. Okay? My point is this. When you're here, we can talk to you about sexual purity and choosing not to have sex before it's your time. I chose not to have sex before it was my time. But there could be somebody here. There could be somebody here who has gone through what I went through. Or may go. Or may go through what I went through. When I got raped, I didn't tell nobody. I told nobody. I go to the Adventist church, yeah? Oh, okay. And unfortunately, when I got pregnant, the first thing the church did, unfortunately, as now as a mayor, is they excommunicated me. Because as I said, I didn't tell anybody how I got pregnant, right? I was ashamed. I thought it was my fault. For very many years, I blamed myself. I cried myself to sleep, and I could look at that beautiful little girl, and I'd say, God, this is your wheel. This one, you know, she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. I love her. But this is how you wanted me to be a mother. This is how you wanted my story to end. A lot of people said, <laughs> Mtoto wa manjeri ya mekusha. Mtoto wa manjeri ni kinemi yake. Mtoto wa ya meisha. I was in campus. So, my point is this. So many people, when mistakes happen, or things like that happen, they will tell you you're done. You're not. The only person who has a final say in your life is God. Find somebody to talk to. There are people who get raped even by their family members, men. If you know somebody who has gone through such kind of things, help them. If somebody comes to you, be a listening ear and a crying shoulder. Kuna reason kwa nini watu pitia vitu kama hizo. Now looking back, I knew it that it, the reason was so that one day I could give a testimony of the goodness of God. Now I live a good life. God has been good. I am a minister of the gospel. I DJ. I sing. I dance. I give praise to God because of the things He's done for me. Those people, those people who said I was done, now they are wondering. Do not let nobody tell you your life is done. And it does not have to be raped. It way if I by mistake. I laugh. Yeah? I'm telling you, be careful. But if it happens, please talk to somebody, okay? And always be kind to the other person because where's he doing? I'm going to